Now with pandemics in movies and video games, we sometimes get full explanations as to how the outbreak began. Examples include 28 Days Later, where exposing primates to unending violent media and torment caused an advanced form of rabies to develop and spread like wildfire in the London area. And then we have Romero's Living Dead Universe, where it's mainly speculation and hints towards the origin of the zombie apocalypse, with most fans agreeing that a satellite that circled around Mars crash landed on Earth and carried with it a life form that could re animate the dead. In Left 4 Dead, the epicenter of the infection was in Pennsylvania, where it quickly spread across the eastern United States. This provides the explanation for why Fairfield's cityscape was ravaged in the first game. There's a number of potential reasons why the infection began, and even the survivors have their own theories as to how and why the infection started, ranging from government conspiracies, to acts of God, to even alien invasion schemes. I'm not saying it was aliens, but aliens. But what actually has some solid ground? to stand on that we can work with. Well, that's why you're watching this video. We are asking how exactly did the infection start in Left 4 Dead? possible patient zero. Now the theory of an original infected, a patient zero, isn't too far-fetched. Having a virus develop and mutate in a single person and then spread like wildfire from that starting point is something we have seen before. In the last parts of No Mercy, on the fourth floor of Mercy Hospital, around the corner from the elevator, surrounded by yellow biohazard tapes, there are multiple hallways and rooms. One of these rooms is made of glass. This quarantine room has several biohazard posters stuck to its walls. Inside is a corpse of a man laying face down in a hospital gown with blood around his mouth. This seems to hint that he was at least one of the first, if not the first, in the area to be infected, maybe even making him the original victim of the infection. However, this may simply be an infected person that doctors believed they could save. Once they failed to do so, it may have led to the inevitable spread of the infection within Mercy Hospital. Also noteworthy is the fact that bags of IV fluid, which looks like blood, on racks near beds at Mercy Hospital have the word contaminated stamped in bold red print across their label. These contaminated IV bags can also be found in CETA medical tents and dead center, indicating CETA's concern over a blood-borne pathogen. This may be mostly likely as the infection did start in Pennsylvania, the original setting of the first game. The use of cows determining rabies or mad cow disease. CETA posters in the airport point to the green flu stemming from livestock, aka cattle, aka cows, and aka any other farm animals we use for meat. This is backed up when we venture through the end of the blood harvest campaign the player will encounter several deceased cows neatly stacked atop one another. The cows typically have the skin around their skull missing, indicating that rabies tests were performed on the animals. Rabies tests are performed by removing the head of a suspected animal and inspecting the brain for any traces of the rabies virus. Although these cows are not headless, scraping off the flesh of the head and removing the brain would be a quicker solution in a panic situation. Cows in the barns level of Dark Carnival and in the Swamp Town level of Swamp Fever also have the skin to their heads removed, and upon seeing the dead cow pile in the swamp town, Rochelle sometimes mentions that the news claimed the virus spread through livestock. We heard reports that the virus spread through mammals, but I have no idea if that was true. Well, better safe than sorry, I guess. And believes the natives of the town, determined to survive the infection on their own, killed their own livestock to prevent an outbreak. All the dead cows might be a reference to the real world mad cow disease, among all the other inspiration from real world diseases. Other possible reasons are a military project for a chemical warfare experiment either going wrong or attempting a martial law situation. But with the mutation this dangerous and ever-changing, taking over and ultimately backfiring on the government and military respectively. But this theory can easily be shot down considering the military base in the Sacrifice comic having such a difficult time comprehending the severity of the outbreak and its mutation capabilities. Now in my last video I had people discussing this next subject heavily. Fans of the game series Payday are very 
vehement to say that the PC exclusive heist in Mercy Hospital involving blood samples from Patient Zero is the direct cause of the outbreak. But both Valve and Overkill Studios have declared the mission as non-canon to both universes and shouldn't be taken seriously storyized. Besides the developers saying it isn't canonical, there are a few reasons to why this scenario is more of a fan tribute full of references rather than an explanation to the start of the green flu. Reasons such as Patient Zero sounding like a smoker and the witch appearing behind the locked closet door in the hallway near the reception desk. When stared at for too long, she will scream and jump scare the player who disturbed her. The smoker and witch could not be possible at this point since Special Infected had just begun appearing due to mutations two weeks into the viral outbreak. Don't let that stop you from smearing it all over yourself. They're changing. God. Damn it, Bill! One theory I don't even want to take seriously, but I'm going to acknowledge, is that nature developed this virus naturally, and that the world is fighting back to wipe out humanity. I don't believe Valve would ruin the lore of Left 4 Dead by giving it an M. Night Shyamalan The Happening twist, where the wind and the trees are infecting our brains. If that's the case, I may end up like the victims in that horrible film. Nope. That is one big pile of shit. But if I had to decide which reason as to how it all started, the notion of a mutated form of mad cow disease and rabies in our livestock that bred into the air would be a legitimate and probable cause to infect the US population. Not to sound like a vegan, I love me a good old steak from time to time. Yep, these are medium rare. What if somebody wants theirs well done? We ask them politely yet firmly to leave. But in order for the country to keep up with an ever-growing population in high demand, we are implanting hormones and development cycles to breed and age as many livestock animals as possible to meet these demands. Skipping the whole reasoning of, we were so busy with the notion that we could, we didn't stop to think if we should. These methods could have easily kickstarted the infection and put seven survivors through a living hell. That's it for this video. Which theory did you find most convincing? Do you have your own theory as to how it all started? Is there more to what exactly the infection is that I need to cover? Submit your video for our Wow Such Coaching series and stay tuned for that as well. And don't forget to subscribe to our Wow Such Gaming stream channel for previous streams to watch anytime. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And until next time, stay wow!